General Medicaid warning. The views expressed in Five-ish Minute Lore, The Lore Delivered in Rants, are sanctioned by their scholar progenium as excess rages. Prolonged exposure can result in loss of IQ, high blood pressure, random outbursts, and blunt force trauma to the skull, resulting in unconsciousness. Please consult your local physician for more information. Farseer Eldrad Ulfway. The man who, even with his bones crystallizing from old age, managed to best a Chaos Space Marine in melee combat. Let's just say, if this guy is the best hope for the Eldar, they may just be better off dying out. Okay, so there are a lot of things in 40k that seem outlandish, but for this one I need a disclaimer. Everything I'm about to say about Eldrat Uthway is 100% true with no exaggerations. It goes without saying I hate Eldrad. In fact, out of a universe of horrible people and even more horrible events, Eldrad ranks in the top three of things I despise in 40k. So with that being out of the way, let's have a look at this knife-eared moron from my typical non-biased view, and while I say all the things I'm about to say, remember this man is regarded as a genius of the Eldar race. Let that sink in. One of the earliest chronological sightings of this particular cement bag of vast intelligence was when he saw the future of humanity. A future in which half the Primarchs would turn traitor, and decided that he would try and help. Using his impressive ability to see the future and amazing intelligence, he decided he should approach a Primarch to broach the subject with. Did he pick Dorn? No. Vulcan? Nah. How about Sanguinius? <laughs> Hell no. This mental mastermind saw that one Primarch in particular was leaving Eldar main worlds alone and considered this adequate research enough for making a decision where the fate of the entire fucking galaxy was on the line. Which Primarch was it he decided to speak to, you ask? These nuts? Ha! <laughs> Fulgrim, of the Emperor's Children, who was presently carrying a sword that was possessed by a greater demon of Slaanesh. No, this gets worse, believe me. So Eldred, in typical Eldar fashion, decides that a picnic in the forest is the perfect option for an icebreaker. When Fulgrim steps off his transport, Eldred doesn't seem to notice anything really wrong with a nearly 12 foot tall guy who just looked like he fought a titan made at a Maybelline factory to the death, then nearly drowned in an ocean of perfume immediately afterwards. At this point, Fulgrim was so far into Slaanesh that the Prince of Pleasure was picking curtains. Eldrad then gives us his proper Eldar diplomatic solution to approaching the subject of your brother is about to become Satan. And that was to repeatedly insult Fulgrim until Fulgrim got fed up and stood up. And then, and only then, I repeat, only then did Eldrad Uthway, the greatest bastion of intelligence and region of the Eldar species, notice the seven foot long sword that was holding on to a greater demon of Slaanesh. At that point, Eldrad pointed at him, said humanity was too far gone, ordered his troops to attack and ran off. It was this. THIS that led him to distrust humanity. No offense, but you are a stupid asshole. So let me break this down. He saw a vision of the future that was horrifying, based his decision on which Primark to speak to on the one that didn't burn the pretty flowers, spent a dinner insulting the hell out of same said Primark, and despite being the elder expert on chaos didn't notice a sword bigger than he was that was possessed by a greater demon. That last part is like saying, I'm a wildfire expert. California is fine in 2021. What a moron. And this course of events led him to distrust humanity. Oh, by the emperor, I hate this idiot. Another fine example of Eldred's diplomatic and intellectual prowess can be witnessed when he opened up the webway portal into the Imperial Palace and led a troop of Harlequins through, who promptly began to attack the custodian guard. They fought all the way to the steps of the Eternity Gate where they were finally stopped and when the last member of the troop was being interrogated, it was revealed that this was a, and I'm not making this up, mission of peace. Look, here's the thing. Be fine. Listen, I'm um, gonna be honest with you. I, I'm kind of retarded. Now, I don't know about you, but anytime somebody kicks down my door in the middle of the night and starts trying to stab me with pointy objects, the first thing that goes through my head is, they're just being neighborly. I need a cup of fucking sugar. By the way, did I mention he finds humans distrustful? Has this bastard ever heard of a phone? Letter? Email? How about phone fucking smoke signals? No, let's just invade the Imperial Palace. It's sure to be seen as a gesture of friendship and goodwill. 
How about another fantastic example? The reason Gazgul Mad Uru Draka exists is because of this magnificent asshole. Yeah, you heard right. One day the Knife Fear Eldrad was having himself another vision and saw that in it, about 30 Sirard years, the orcs would attack a craft world. Instead of, I don't know, telling the craft world to move, Eldrad Uthway quite literally socially engineered the most powerful orc war boss in the galaxy and then steered him to Armageddon. If you're not paying attention, that makes him directly responsible for the second and third war of Armageddon, as well as spawning the most powerful wall known since the Beast. He is directly responsible for the death of billions. Now I'm not saying he hasn't done anything good. He has, but he only seems to make sense when you remove logic, reasoning, and basic math. He's also a fairly capable fighter, beating Abaddon one-on-one, -on -one, but then again, Abaddon doesn't seem capable of boxing his own shadow, much less fighting anyone competent. But of all the dipshit, brain-dead, ill-advised, bag-on-head, dumbass ways to get something done he's ever thought of, his crowning achievement is attempting to wake the Eldar God of the Dead, Yenit. Oh no, the Eldar did so good the first time around wakening a god, let's just do it again! After all, all that'll happen is another blistering portion of the Eldar race will die, the Astronomicon will get disrupted for a long period of time, and every craft world will be disabled. But it has a small chance to take Celeste out, so worth, I guess. This numb nut dived on this strategy because why not, and landed on an Imperial moon to perform the ritual. He then had two craft worlds launch diversionary attacks on another Imperial planet, SPECIFICALLY targeting civilians, mind you. The only reason this asshole failed at succeeding was because he got shot at and defected a bit of his psychic ability to absorb the blow. So basically, in his bid to be the big fucking hero and take out Slanesh, he sacrificed millions if not billions of Imperial citizens and would have wiped out a hefty percentage of his own people, then left the rest to tumble through the void, but stopped when it was his ass on the line. So there we have it, Eldred Uthway, hero of the Eldar, one of the most intelligent beings in existence, who spends his life solely to combat chaos, but doesn't notice a chaos-corrupted Primarch, a chaos-possessed sword, allows billions needs to die for no damned reason and came within a hair's breadth of summoning a god of the dead that would have nearly wiped out the rest of his race. And this is why I hate the damned knife ears. Then I'm gonna take that little red anal bead on your belt and push it in your face. I'm gonna flagellate you with my fucking beard. I'm gonna build you a pair of runic mechanical balls and use surgical precision to sew them to your groin. We are manhood ought to be just so that I can kick them with my iron fucking feet, you twat!